Hey guys, today I'm going to show you something that's really cool that I think is cool, but let me first start off by saying this does not require any hacks, but it does require modding the game. So if you guys do not enjoy modding your game, and it is totally safe, but if you guys still don't enjoy modding your game, um, you can go ahead and click off this video, but it's not hacks or anything. So guys, today I'm going to show you guys how you can um, change what your guy starts with if you just want to have like a fun uh, run. Now let me answer something first. A lot of people ask me if you can get, well a lot of my friends ask me if you can get achievements with this. You can, but I find that a little bit cheaty. I, I, listen, I know it says I'm a golden god and you guys might think that I cheated for that. But honestly, if you guys actually know this game very well, you know that that's not a very high rank and I actually just don't, I, I, I don't really use the thing. I just got the mod earlier today and I've just been messing around with it. See, I don't have a bunch of achievements unlocked for all the characters, if you can see right here. But my point is, I don't use this item to cheat. Now, I am going to use this item to show it to you guys, and I might use it to make some, like, synergy videos, but I'll never jump into the chest at the end. I'll probably kill myself so that uh, it doesn't go off as achievement, but you guys get my drift. Okay, so we're going to start a normal run. Alright, so basically, I just picked a bunch of random things to show you guys that um, I know what I'm doing here. So, basically, I made myself start with, um, number one, the uh, Joker card. Uh, the Curve Torn, and as you see, I am Cthulhu, I made myself start with, uh, Tammy's Head, which is up here, uh, Monstro's Lung, and Pyromaniac, and Dr. Fetus, 69 of each item, 5 more bombs, because of Pyromaniac, and, uh, yeah, so, if you see when I pick this up, it's only going to show you for a second, because I have the Cthulhu thing on, but as you see, I do have a red character as well, I named my character, I don't know, it, maybe that doesn't work, but I did name my character uh, Spartan just as a test. I haven't used that one yet. As you see, I did spawn with the Joker card as well. Ooh, Brimstone. First devil deal on a game I'm not actually playing is Brimstone. Just shows you my luck. But as you see, I also worked up the dream combination. Boom. Got my monstros long and my, I don't know why that didn't shoot out bombs. It should have, but my point is, guys, you guys can have any combination you want with this and... A combination like this can be pretty sick and just fun to mess around with um, now let me let me answer something for you guys real quick because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me in this comments number one no I didn't make this I'm not a genius um, I don't know exactly what the name of the guy who made this is but I'm gonna link him uh, like I'm gonna link I'm gonna link the forum post anyway so you know you'll you'll know who he is now I also want to say guys and point out that you cannot give yourself an item you have not already unlocked so say I wanted to give myself epic fetus which I really did want to do I don't have epic fetus unlocked because I have not um beat the family man challenge so there's no possible way that I can spawn with epic fetus because I have not unlocked it yet I just wanted to point that out guys because I feel like a lot of people are going to go ahead and ask me that I also want to say, final thing is, this is Afterbirth, Afterbirth support it. If you have any more questions, you can always just go check on the post that he made. Okay, so we're going to start by downloading. Now, when you download this, you're going to want to close out your binding of Isaac Afterbirth because you can't make any edits to your game without the, your thing closed. So you want to go ahead and close that. Now, you want to go to this link, which will be pasted in the description below, moddingofisaac.com slash mod slash 16 slash Isaac character editor. Now this is a safe website, it's a safe download, if you don't trust me, you don't have to download, you don't have to install it. If your computer says it's a virus, it's not. Your virus protection is shit. Alright, so when you load on the webpage, you'll be greeted with this little interface here. You want to go ahead and you want to go down, and uh, there should be a download button right here. Now if it doesn't let you download it, it's just because you have to log in down here, you're going to have to log into your Steam, it's trustworthy though. Uh, but yeah. Now, um, when you guys do download this, all you got to do is open the WinRAR file. Um, if you have, or, and you gotta open, like, EXE or whatever, depending on what you have, and, uh, yeah, so, I have it right here, as you see, since I have a Windows, I'm gonna go into Legacy, uh, you would just go into Linux, or Mac, or even Windows, you could go into if you have Windows, but I just go, I just go into Legacy and click on Isaac Character Editor. Now, I already have it open, so I'm just gonna reset my character to default, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use this here, let me edit this and put it back to Isaac. 
Unless did I create a whole other character? I don't know how the names work. The name wasn't working, so let's put that back there. Okay, so the first thing you can edit is your active slash base bar items. As you see, I draw all your items here. Make sure to not click something that you don't, but make sure to click something that you do have unlocked. Make sure your game is closed down here. Let me actually close up my Minecraft because I don't know why my Minecraft's open. It's gonna lag me. So what I want is I want that um, hmm, what's it called um? Here's the item I want, Diplopia or whatever that says. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Fudge it, I can't find it. I'm too lazy. So I'm gonna get the book of Belial. As you see, you got the little book of Belial up there, it's fancy and everything. Now you can also randomize everything. Let me point that out, but you don't have. It. So now we have your health. This indicates your red hearts. One will equal one half a heart, and two will equal one full heart. Now we're just gonna say I want seven full hearts. Okay. Then I want one soul heart and half a black heart. All right. Cool. And now my consumables. This is how many coins you want, how many bombs, and how many keys. So I'm just gonna say I want 24 keys, I want 10 bombs, and I want two coins. Now, do I want to start with a random pill, or do I want to start with a card or a rune, which actually gives you a drop down? Now, I'd rather start with the card or a rune, so I'm gonna start with the chaos card because that would really help me out. Um, I do want to start with a trinket. Uh, so we're just gonna hit, go ahead and start with let's start with a store credit trinket Now your trinkets right there your card is right there And if you're if you're an afterbirth you want to click enable Afterbirth if you do not own afterbirth do not check this. This is really important Because this will determine if you're using afterbirth or not obviously Excellent guys, instead I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this. I'm actually going to activate the Suicide King card right there. And then I'm going to grab for this. I'm going to grab the... I don't know, it doesn't really matter what I grab really. I'm not really going to be playing this round. I'm just having a little bit of fun. Let's just grab... Let's see, what do we have here? We'll just get Cancer. Alright, so we got a card. We got Cancer. And then we have Afterbirth. We want to be able to shoot Tears. So we're going to check this so it's not blindfolded. You want to make sure that's checked. Now you can edit the name here, but I don't know how that works because I edited the name and it didn't work. Let's see if it works this time. Name him Spartan. And then here you can change what he looks like. Like, let's see. If I wanted the Santa hat, I can check up, or Judas's Fez, I can check out that. And you see right there. Um, and then let's go ahead. Let's do, what is Mega Satan? Uh, let's do Mega Satan because I like that. And then you can change his color here. Uh, let me turn this off and he, as you see it changes his little color there uh, Oh, I just randomized everything my bad guys. I'll fix it Anyways, we want to be mega Satan we can have a regular color He's not changing because I have mega Satan on like it's a glitch it, it'll change in game trust me um, as you see he's renamed to Spartan and then here you have your stuff now You have to get the stuff right so I would suggest using a web page like this um, to find it so if you want it polyphemus you would type in polyphemus. Oh, that's not how you spell it. Okay. Polyphemus. There we go. The reason I do that is because if you type in, say I type in like that, and if it said item, it doesn't work. So you want to do that. And then say I also want it. Say I wanted all the damage up items to make my tears super huge. I would go. You know what? Let's make this fun. We'll type in, we'll grab brimstone. Uh, brimstone right there. Um, oh, I just forgot that that's an easy type. Cool. You want to do a comma, space, and then the name of the next one. Let's add Cricket's Head. Um, let's add it. Let's get, let's get some Guppy going. Guppy's Hail. And Guppy's Hairball. And Guppy's Collar. And then let's get Holy Mantle. Um, now let's make it fun with Ipecac. Ipecac. Ipec How do you spell Ipecac? I totally forgot. Ipecac. Probably spelled that wrong. Ip. There it is. Ipecac. Ipecac. Got it. Let's put Ipecac. Oh my god, I suck at spelling. Ipecac, there we go. It's not, oh my god, I'm in the, hold on. 
I got this, don't worry. Ip cack. Gotcha. Ip cack, there we go. And then we want let's get hmm. Let's get soy milk. Okay. So let me set items. As you see, they all just set. Got Guppy's hairball right there. That's pretty swaggy. So now you want to click export players.xml. It'll say changes saved and then update it. Now you don't want to close that out, but you do want to minimize it. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to run the binding of Isaac. I do have afterbirth, it just says rebirth. See, it says afterbirth up there. Anyways, next thing you want to do is just run a normal run, new run, and as you see, it still says Isaac. I don't know why it doesn't say Spartan. That's why I don't usually mess with names, but names aren't really that important to be totally honest. Right, we're in the game. As you see, I'm kind of got this weird head on. I think that's the Mega Satan thing. I have, oh my god, that's weird. I got my Brimstone, I got Polyphemus, I got my damage items that give me, I didn't actually get that many damage items, I don't have that much damage. And then I got my Diplopia or whatever it's called, I don't really know how to say it, so I could go space bar and I can duplicate these and grab them, pay to play, safety pin, grab a key even though I shouldn't have paid for it, even though I got one for free. My point is guys, this does work, um, see, now I can go in here, I can grab my item, blah blah blah, I have all my items, boom boom boom, you guys get the point. But anyways guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Remember, all the downloads you will need for this is in the description. Hit the like button down below. And um, yeah guys, uh, I guess I'll see you all later. Have a beautiful day everyone. And uh, let's just go ahead and get myself killed for fun. I'm gonna go to fan.